So for the love of George, did you always plan to have the crowdfunding campaign be the sole um, production funds or did you um, have other ideas? No, I mean, the crowdfunding campaign was something like, say at the, the start, I didn't know if I was going to make a short or a feature. So we did the crowdfunding campaign, kind of just threw it out there really to see what happened. But um, it was seven weeks of <laughs> extremely hard work. Um, and at the end of it, I, you know, we, we got a certain amount of money and it was a lot of money with which to make a short, but nowhere near enough with which to make a feature. And, but at that point, I didn't want to make a short and, and waste it on a short. So many people I know were saying to me, you can't make a feature, you can't do a first, you know, first feature, you have to make a short first. Why do I, you know, what rule book says anywhere, you have to make a short first. And so many people that I knew had made a short and regretted it and wished they'd, you know, they're now using that as a funding pitch for a feature. And um, so at that point I thought, I really want to make a feature, you know, let's just, let's go after that. And the script was being worked on and got better and better. And it, the, the more it improved, the more I wanted to make a better and better feature and, and wanted to wait. So um, yeah, it was something that I then had to look outside of crowdfunding and, and start having meetings and approaching people. And, and like I say, everyone in LA is trying to do that. But um, it's fairly easy to get indoors in LA because everyone's worried about missing the next best thing. You know, it's a lot harder to actually get anyone to commit or to get funding or, or that side of it. But um, I really tried everything. Like, you know, I would go to investors and film finances in LA and, um, you know, I had a few interesting meetings where they would want to change the script and they wanted to change the husband and the husband should be, this was one one male financier that I went to see, had very strong ideas about, you know, how Poppy should behave towards the husband, which I didn't listen to at all and he didn't finance the film. But, um, it, you know, eventually it was just, you try everything, you know, I was trying, I was getting all these creative ideas about how I was going to do funding and I was going to go to, um, country clubs and do fundraising evenings and talk to people how they could get involved in film, which I actually tried. I tried, you know, doing that. None of it worked, <laughs> you know, but I was really trying to get creative and go outside the box in terms of, you know, trying to get money within LA because at that point I decided I didn't want to give the rights up. I didn't want to have someone else, you know, make it through their production company. And for someone to give me money to make it through my production company, it was a uh, you know, a bit further down the line, I realized again, well, if I want this, I'm gonna to have to try and get the money myself. So that's what I did. And so was this from a series of investors aside from the, the, the crowdfunding? The crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think um, we had about four or five investors and, um, you know, it was really about relationship building and, and finding people who could relate to either the subject or, um, friends of other investors and, th and things like that and uh, yeah it was it was a very long process and you know very time consuming and I can't tell you the amount of emails I sent out like you know thousands trying to find ways to, to raise the money but um, you know I was very fortunate in the end it all, all came together and I had a couple of actually females in particular that believed in the project and believed in me and um, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. I almost envision some of Poppy's character, sort of what you were going through and that everybody's in her ear telling her kind of like what to do and how it should be. Yeah. And I find that interesting. How did you sort of decipher, okay, I'm going to listen to this, this person's probably very knowledgeable and I'm sure they have great intentions but I don't think this is for me and yeah. I want to do it my way. How did you know who to listen to? I think I I just have a very, you know, strong belief that if you want to do something that badly and if, you know, if it's not something that's completely delusional, then you can achieve it. And, uh, you know, I had people, oh, you know, you can't do a film about George Clooney unless you're, you know, you have a budget of 10 million. And like, <laughs> what? Sometimes I just think, where do these people get this stuff from? Like, who told them that? Because it's just blatantly not true. So. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm just a, a believer that, like I say, if, if you really put everything into it, unless you have some really random stupid idea, then why can't you do it? You know, who, who's to tell me I can't? And if I'm not getting anywhere, then maybe I'll rethink it, but let me try it, let me try doing it my way.